today we will talk on eps geoform blocks <coughs> eps means expanded polyester such block consist of form as per stm 681c7 standard specifications for rigid cellular polyester in geoform this standard covers the material properties most often required for geoform the these blocks are classified as eps 12 eps 15 eps 19 eps 22 eps 29 eps 39 and eps 46 they have density varying from about 12 to 46 kg per cubic meter so you can understand that the density is very very low compared to brickwork or compared to cc or rcc and accordingly they are classified as we have already discussed eps 12 15 19 22 29 39 and 46 their density is about 12 15 18 22 29 38 and 46 kg per cubic meter as approximately they have good insulation properties r values are varying from 0.63 to 0.9 at 25 degree fahrenheit 0.60 to 0.86 at 40 degree fahrenheit and 0.56 to 0.78 at 75 degree fahrenheit for particular brand compressive resistance at the rate of 1% deformation varies from 15 to 128 kp and flexural strength from 69 to 517 kp water absorption is also very low 4% for say eps 12 to 2% for eps 46 then eps geo form means it is a cellular polymeric materials manufactured in block form of very low density as we have discussed and they are as per astm d6817 uh they are available in standard size say 1.2 meter wide and then length varies from 2.4 to 4.8 meter length thickness varies from 25 mm to 900 14 mm that is in inches if we talk then 1 inch to 36 inches other sizes and fabrication can be provided by the manufacturer uh, they are combustible uh, though they are said to be fire retardant but combustible at certain temperature at about 74 degree celsius if we talk uh, about eps geoform blocks they gets affected by uv rays uh, because they are containing polymeric material so if it's stored outside they should be protected if they are inside there is no problem while uh, we are using we will also see that they are quite protected so there is no uh, effect of uv rays they have negligible effect during short term due to storage particularly inside see these are the blocks and these blocks were used in one of the site and uh, we used for making the steps for lecture halls in classrooms and uh, you see uh, when we use them in classroom they are very light so load of the structure is also reduced and particularly if we are if we are to use uh, or we are to prepare we are to make the steps in uh, Uh, on first floor or other or higher floor then this material is very good because it is very lightweight it is quite sturdy it has sufficient strength and uh, easily can be placed installation is very easy and therefore um, such materials can be used for lecture halls for theaters for auditoriums etc application of g eps geo form blocks can be successfully done in staircases uh, st- seating of classrooms lecture halls auditorium theaters and stadia as i have already discussed them 
Now again, you see these uh, have been laid in steps in lecture hall. Another advantage of such blocks is that they can be cut easily in desired shapes. And uh, you know that we are to install the services and then if services are to be laid, then they just uh, nothing is required but just cutting and then laying the services. And then uh, during maintenance stage, uh, we have seen that if you provide RCC steps or even CC steps, it's very difficult to repair them. And such steps can be easily repaired uh, if we are using uh, this APS geoform blocks. And uh, let us see how they are to be laid. When used in the step, the block should be laid as per requirement of the risers and depth. In case depth is more than uh, and, and uh, the, the uh, required thickness of block is not available, then they can be over, uh, overlaying can be done of the blocks. Thereafter, wire mesh should be used over the blocks to tie them. Now, confinement is uh, important. So, they should be confined uh, by wire mesh and then, uh, then, then tie them and then uh, they, by wire mesh we can also keep them in position and also uh, it acts uh, as a proper bonding uh, with the concrete which is to be laid over the blocks. So, a small thickness of concrete needs to be laid uh, or is creating is to be done. And then uh, finally, provide uh, we can provide a desired flooring, whatever type of flooring we have to provide, as per the architect's requirements. See, uh, uh, this uh, even uh, the, these uh, blocks are quite uh, sturdy. They have sufficient strength. They are not uh, getting damaged, even if a lot of material is lying on the floor. And then they had that GI wire mass has been used and they have been tied. And cutting has also been done following the services. See, this is again being done here at the side. And this is the final flooring which has been done finally. So, after laying GP, uh, APS geoform block, then is um, wire mass, then concreting and then um, mortar and flooring and then finally whatever flooring we want we can do it and then we can use them easily. So this is good material for such applications. And this material EPS blocks are also used in walls and we will discuss sometime else for affordable housing or in, uh, they are also classified as new and emerging technologies. and. Uh, and they are for low cost or affordable housing also. So we will talk sometime else. But thanks for attending. I am KM Sony, a retired from CPW. Thanks. <laughs>